Good morning, Pre-K. Happy Friday. Today is November 13th, 2020. We are going to be working on a new letter today. The letter sounds like t, t, t. Does anybody know what letter that is? If you said T, you are right. Okay. When we do letters in Pre-K, we like to talk about the different sounds it makes. We like to talk about different words that begin with that letter to expose you to it. So here I have a nice sheet that gives you an idea of some things that start with the letter T that you may not have even known. So here we have a t -t -t taco. And here we have a t -t -t tomato. Who likes tomatoes? I like tomatoes. Here we might see daddy wearing one of those t -t -t tie. Here, a t -t telephone, t -t -t shoes, t -t tag, <gasps> something that makes bread, a t -t toaster, it makes it nice and crunchy. Here we have, oh, something you use in the morning and at night to brush your teeth, a t -t toothbrush. Something we see outside, they're losing all their leaves, a ch -ch -ch tree. See, it sounds a little different there. Here we have a t -t turtle. Inside your mouth, you have t -t teeth. You eat off of this t -t table, okay? So these are just a few words to give you an idea. And I sent in the email, um, some videos on YouTube that are awesome videos on the letter T showing you some T words and how it sounds in different words. And I also want to tell you that T is a consonant. Okay. So if you know there's vowels, A, E, I, O, U, but T is a consonant. Can you say that? Good job. So today I'm going to be reading a T book, something that starts with the T. It's coming up. If you're thinking of a holiday like Thanksgiving, that starts with the T. But see, because the T is with the H, it makes a th sound, okay? So Thanksgiving is coming up. We have it over here in like two weeks. So something that we might eat on Thanksgiving starts with the t, 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 and it goes, gobble, 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 gobble. Do you know what that is? T, 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 turkey. So we're going to be reading a story that's called T is for Turkey. And what I love about this is that we're gonna go through the whole alphabet and it's gonna tell you all different things. So A, we did the letter A. A is for the American story. Our school play will tell some myths. We'll set straight other facts you know well. So sometimes some schools for Thanksgiving, they put on like a little play. B is for b bold. This adventure we planned in search of more freedom in a faraway land. C is for colonist. Our ship lost its way, so the Mayflower sailed into Cape Cod Bay. D is for difficult. That means something that's hard, right? There was, there was not much to eat and many grew ill, but we couldn't be beat. E is for educate. We needed to know how to plant in the soil and make our crops grow. Soil is dirt. F is for feast. That's what you're gonna be having on Thanksgiving. And a bountiful fall with squash, beans, and pumpkins and corn that grew tall. G is for good morrow. It's what pil Pilgrim said, hello, and how are you, is what we say instead. H is for Sarah Hale. 
who made it her mission to make sure Thanksgiving got the right recognition. So you see how they dress like that? That's what you call a pilgrim. I is for Indians. They were the other people that made Thanksgiving very special. But that name's not quite right. We're the Wapingon tribe or people of the light. J is for joining two groups in goodwill to gather together was really a thrill. So they came together, the Indians and the pilgrims, and they had their first Thanksgiving. K is for kids, that's you, who worked hard to help out. They fetched wood and served before running about. So hopefully this Thanksgiving, you're gonna help mommy or daddy with Thanksgiving dinner. L is for Lincoln. He was one of our presidents right there with the big hat. The president who said, Mrs. Hale, it's official. We all will break bread. M is for Massiot, who agreed not to fight. For all of our people, the future seems bright. N is for neighbors. We're learning about um, where we live. So neighbors are the people that live next to you. If you walk outside, you see the house or the apartment next to you. Those are your neighbors. If you live in an apartment building and you walk into the hallway, you see the other doors. Those are your neighbors. Those are the other families that live around you. At our celebration for three days, their families shared our elation. O is for opportunity. Our feast has provided a chance to be friendly instead of divided. <clears throat> we always talk about Thanksgiving is getting together with our friends and family and appreciating each other and being thankful for one another. Here it is. P is for pilgrims. But those clothes are not right. There were no silver buckles and the colors were bright. Q is for quit, something we'll never do. We're determined to carve out a life that is new. R is for recipes. We each have our own. We make porridge and we stew all different things like pumpkins. S is for Squanto. He taught us new ways. He was the Indian right there. To fish and to hunt and clam and plant pumpkins and maize. Maize is another word for corn. And then this is, oh, excuse me. This is the word we were waiting for. What letter is that? T. T is for, what do we eat on Thanksgiving? Turkey. Here it is. A festive addition. Today, it's a favorite Thanksgiving tradition. U is for understanding. This new life and land, we hope things will work out as well as we planned. V is for venison. Venison is deer right there. The meat of the deer, the natives brought five. Their good wishes were clear. W is for wishful. We hope this will be a lasting tradition for you and for me. X is for zennial, a big word that means make all of your guests feel like kings and queens. Y is for yummy. We share this great food and rejoice all together. What a wonderful mood. And Z is for zestful. We've had such, a, had such great fun. Now our play of Thanksgiving is all said and done. And in the top it says, Happy Thanksgiving. So I thought this was a great book to read because Thanksgiving is right around the corner, but also because there was a T word in there. Well, there's two T words in there. Thanksgiving, because we said when the T is together with an H, it makes a th. 
sound, okay? But also this thing right here, turkey. That starts with the letter T. So today your challenge will be to look around your house um, or maybe outside and see if you could find something that makes the t, -t sound, okay? Something that starts with a T. I showed you all these words too to give you an idea of things that start with the letter T. You're gonna find whatever it is, you're gonna take a picture of it, and you're gonna send it to your teacher um, of the T word, okay? So even if you take a picture of your teeth, send it to your teacher. That's your T word, that's the T you found, okay? And I also have some T tracing worksheets and some T words that you can trace in the email to mommy and daddy, okay? I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend and thank you for learning the letter T with me. Bye-bye.